How to use Bitwarden for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'll be telling you what Bitwarden is, how it works, and how to start using its services. Well, if you use the same password everywhere, a hacker only needs to get your password once in order to break into many of your online accounts. So Bitwarden is uh, one of the many password managers out there. So to create an account in Bitwarden, there's no other way around it. Input your email right here because you can sign in using Google account or Facebook account, but apparently we're still using our Google account for this one. Now you can input your name straight right away right here. So let me just type that in. And of course it asks you for a master password. Guys, the master password should be really strong. So it's it can be like a combination of special characters, uppercases and lower cases. Just make sure to remember the password, keep it somewhere safe. And basically this will this will let you access your Bitwarden account. And let's just go ahead and retype the master password and see if it matches. And next is the master password hint. So it's optional, you guys. So it's up to you if you want to uh, put a hint or not. I, I didn't put a hint. So now let's go ahead and put in the master password that we just typed in a while ago. So let me just type that in. And yeah. So after that, we are done. So by the way, the website is vault.bitwarden.com. So keep that in mind. And this is how their platform looks like. It's just simple. And as you can see, there's just a couple of few tabs right here. And of course your profile right there. You can access a lot of features as well under your profile. You can do a lot of customizations with it. So if you want to edit your account, you can click my account. You can edit your name right there. And if you want to add in your master password hint, you can also add them right here. And if you want to change your email, you can also do it by clicking this tab right here. And yeah, there's a lot of things that you can customize under this tab. And basically that's it. So let's go ahead and explore more features of Bitwarden. You can also use Bitwarden, you guys, to um, add in your yeah, of course, your your password. So right here is your favorite password. So when you create or when you save a lot of passwords to your vault, um, you can then access them right here, the favorite passwords or the favorite items. Basically, all of your passwords are stored here in the single vault. So let's go ahead and type in login right there or select login. And let me just type in Facebook login as the name. And uh, yeah, there's no folder that's created. So if you create a folder, you can choose the folder right there. And for the username, let me just go ahead and click. Uh, okay, let me just get rid of that. So let me just go ahead and type in Stanley. That's my name. So I just put in my information. And after that, you can access the authenticator or you can opt to like put in an authenticator that's actually optional. You can do it via Google Authenticator or other Authenticator programs out there. So let me just put in my password. So that's it. That's my password in Facebook. So once you're done, you're basically set up. You can also add the URL of the website that you're going to use the login details to. So let me just type that in. And after that, you just have to like, um, yeah, you can also put notes right there. And you can choose if it's uh, text or what. So just go ahead and save that. And after you save it, we're pretty much good to go. So as you can see, guys, their platform is really simple. It's just a single vault and it contains all the information that you want it to contain. So basically, this single vault right here is the bloodline of this application so you can also access a lot of features right here you can put in your login details your car details your identity so this one right here is for the login so as you can see we already added one which is facebook login so you can put in a lot more if you want to and it will show you the list you can also add your card so if you want to add your card just want to click the add item right here and this pop-up window will appear and then it asks you details about your card such as the name the card holder name the number the security code and the brand so it, it supports all brands of card you guys like visa mastercard american express and a lot more 
and basically that's how you add a card so we don't have a folder for this yet but mind you guys if you create a folder it will show under that list so you can add a folder right here so let's go ahead and make a folder called socials and if you want to add in uh, your Facebook login socials you can do so just to go ahead and edit the edit the information and you can add item as well you can add your identity and basically they work all the same you guys each tab works the same it looks the same just go ahead and click the plus sign at the top left corner and then after that a pop-up window will appear which asks you the informations that you need to put in like for this one this is our my identity I chose 10 as the category and of course now you can input the rest by yourself if you want to access this feature or if you want to use this feature just go ahead and click save if you're done but for this tutorial let's just go ahead we're just exploring the features so let me click cancel for that and like almost password like almost all password managers you can also add in a secure note so secure note it basically works the same like other secure notes so just type this choose what type of item it is and then write down your name and then put in the notes so basically that's just how it works and uh, yeah these are this these are the features that you can access for free the login the card the identity and the secure notes so I think this platform is pretty neat so it doesn't really require a, I mean a huge amount of time for you to learn how to use it so just uh, basically go ahead and click what uh, click the category you want to add like for example login card identity so it's it, it works the same you guys uh, there's an add item at the top left corner of your screen and that's how you add the details so once you've set up Bitwarden, it can be very annoying to log in without it. So uh, if you know you're going to frequently use a password on a computer that does not have your Bitwarden information, you may want to commit the password to memory rather than randomizing it. So now for this one, you can also send the passwords or notes, secure notes that you want to. So for this feature, just go and create new send and try to put out a name on it. Now for this one, I put in my house security codes. So under texts, that when that's the part where you put in the details of the passwords or the security codes that you want to send to someone else. So you can actually choose to um, choose to put in a password when somebody is trying to access the secure notes that you've sent, just to make sure that it's the right person who is accessing it. So when accessing the send, hide the text by default. You can also choose that. So you can also copy the link to share this send to the clipboard upon save. So you can also choose a deletion date, a time span of how many days before the secure notes is going to be deleted. And this is what I'm talking about, you guys, the password. So you can add in a password to your secure notes to make sure that the, per the person is actually accessing the password that you want so you can put them right here and you can put in a note so i can go ahead and save it when you're done or if you don't want to continue anymore you can just click cancel for this let me just go ahead and click cancel right here so basically this is their platform you guys it's pretty neat it's just pretty clean and the password generator works really well as well. I mean, this is the selling point of this application. It lets you randomize passwords. So it lets you choose if it's going to be a password or a passphrase. So I just choose which one is better for you, you guys, if it's going to be a password or a passphrase. And for the passwords, you can actually choose how long it's going to be and how i mean the minimum numbers that's going to be in the password and the minimum special characters that's going to be in the password so you can put in here three or four or whatever number that you like actually it's a minimum you guys bare minimum so it means that the the actual password can contain three or more and yeah three three or more minimum characters three or more minimum special characters so basically, this is how Bitwarden works. It's a simple password manager app that uh, lets you save all your passwords in a single vault. 
So I think the password generate, generator is pretty neat. And all the other features that you can access for free is also good. So what do you think, guys? You're up to speed with Bitwarden.